If you sell products available in different variants like a t-shirt with several size and color options, you should have a separate SKU for each product variant. It simplifies inventory management as you can find out the quantity of each variant in stock right away. Otherwise, you wouldn't see the information in your store and would need to control the variant's availability in stock yourself. Another strong reason to have a separate SKU for each variant is the ability to control what options a customer will be able to select for purchase. Unavailable variants will be impossible to order. It helps to avoid refunds and complaints from confused customers. Besides a separate SKU and quantity in stock for each product variant, you may need other functionality to manage such products easily and efficiently. To enable these features, install the Product Variants add-on, which is included in all paid XCART editions. It allows assigning a separate image, SKU, price, wholesale price, quantity in stock, and weight to each variant of your product. Go to XCART Marketplace, find the add-on on the list, and click to install it. Open the add-on settings page. There is only one setting here. You can choose how the price for products with variants will show up in the products listing in the storefront. It can be a price of the variant that you set as default, or the price for the product can show up as a price range from the cheapest to the most expensive variant. Now let's go to the catalog and open the product for which we will configure the variants. I've already created one. Product variants are generated based on the attributes. As you see, I have already configured them for this product. View another video for the detailed product classes and attribute setup instructions. The link is under the video. As you see, there are many attributes set for the product, but for variants, we can use only those that customers can select. These are the attributes with multiple values, size and color in our case. Go to the Variants tab. Select the attributes for the variants generation. You can create the variants manually, one by one, or have them created all at once. Here is a list of all possible variants. Set a SKU for each variant and update other table fields according to the variant's characteristics. Upload the images if necessary. If some of the generated variants are impossible or you're not going to ever sell them, just remove them. If you don't fill in some of the fields, the default values specified for the product will be used. This setting means that the red t-shirt of small size is selected as the default variant. You can change it at any time if necessary. If you have a wholesale add-on enabled, you'll see the percent icon next to each variant price. It will become clickable after you save your settings. To be able to set wholesale pricing for any of the variants, make sure you fill in the price field for it even if it's the same as default. Save the changes. Now you can set a different wholesale pricing for your variants. Just click on the icon and set the conditions. Let's check the product page in the storefront. We've set the red t-shirt of small size as default, so its image, attributes, price, quantity, and wholesale pricing show up on the product page. Customers will not be able to select the variants that are not available in stock. If a customer buys 10 or more t-shirts of red color and small size, the wholesale discount applies. If you want to visualize the product variation and display them as images or colors instead of the drop-down selector, you can additionally use the Color Swatches add-on. If you want to display all variations as a table with an opportunity to add them to cart in bulk, you can do it with the help of the Variance Table View add-on. The links to the features are under the video. For any questions on your online store setup, feel free to contact us at support at x-cart.com. Thanks for watching.